Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. I hope you're having a good Thursday. I think it is Thursday. Um, it definitely is Thursday. I'm currently on my lunch break and I'm going to go to a coffee shop that I've never been to before. And I kind of have, um, I, I have kind of stayed away from going to it, but today I'm going to go to it and it's called Amberson Coffee Shop. So they're so close to Calvin Fletcher's. I normally just go to Calvin Fletcher's, but today I'm going to try something different and I'm going to check them out. So I invite you to come with me. It's a coffee shop slash grocery store, you know, like small grocery store. And um, we'll see, we'll see what they, we'll see, we'll see what they got. I looked at their menu online and they have a horchata latte as well. That's the second one I've seen. Uh, the other one's at Certain Feelings Coffee. And I will say that uh, their coffee is expensive, but we'll see if it, We'll see why. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's worth it. You know, it is interesting. Like their lattes and stuff are expensive, but I did notice that uh, their horchata latte is the same price as certain feelings. One of the main reasons I've stayed away from going is because the prices were so high, um, and they might have changed since then. Uh, I mean, I remember when sometime in February, I was uh, going. I was planning to go there, but I saw that their lattes were nine fifty. They had two lattes on there that were nine fifty, and I'm like, dang, why in the world? Uh, but I think it's because they are a sustainable coffee company even. Yeah. So, okay. It doesn't matter. Let's go, let's go check them out. We'll see what they are. We'll see what they got and we'll go from there. So, okay. Bye. Okay. So I'm here at Amberson's and I'm parked in the middle of their area. Cause I have no idea where to park besides on the street and it's raining. So I'm just parking in front of their place. So hopefully that's fine. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hey everyone, so I'm back from Amberson's. I was just there uh, very quickly. I wasn't there very long because I, like I said, I parked in front of their store and yeah, you're probably not supposed to do that. So I was like, oh my goodness, I probably should move, but I'm not gonna walk in the rain. So I just parked there. Um, but it was really nice in there. As you as you have seen, maybe you've seen if, the, if I post the footage, it was really nice in there and um, very Instagrammable. The staff were very awesome and very nice. And I, I really like it. I mean, I could definitely see myself going back if their coffee's good. So I got two drinks. I got a cold brew, which um, was four bucks. And it didn't seem like they upcharged me, you know, for the glass. So they come in these glass bottles or glass jars that you can keep. And I think you're probably supposed to return them. I don't know. They didn't tell me to return them, but I kind of wonder if you're supposed to like take it back when you get your next drink or something. You know what I mean? Cause I kind of feel like, what is the reasoning to do this? It's to make it like sustainable. But see my issue with that, which I'm all for being sustainable, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna taste this cold brew. This is just a, I guess a 72 hour cold brew. It's cheaper than their pour over coffee. Their pour over coffee is five dollars. This is four. So I kind of wonder 
why that is. Maybe it's because they make it in batch. And it smells very good. Yeah, it's very, like, this is really good cold brew. It's way better than that uh, cold brew I had at Pro Foundry Provision. Foundry Provision. Yeah, this cold brew is excellent. It has nothing in it. If you've ever had a, uh, oh, what's it called? A, a gashi? Gush, gushi? Whatever. It's African uh, coffee beans. Kenya beans, maybe? It's, it's very good. It's very fruity, which I know a lot of people are surprised by that when they maybe don't have coffee or had a lot of coffee. You just drink your Keurig and your Folgers. This, um, there's coffee out there that tastes like straight up fruit. And this is a great example of that. It, it's, um, it's wild. It's very, very good. I really like it. And I was not expecting to like it. Now this is a, um, a fig latte. So it has, I don't know if you can see this, but maybe you can see some of the vanilla bean in it. So there's vanilla and then they have a fig syrup, syrup, fig syrup, um, and uh, espresso. So it's fig, vanilla, espresso, and some form of milk. So you can get macadamia milk, whatever milk, oat milk, they got different options. You know, it's like, it's a, it's a hippie, hipster cough shop. So it smells good. It's, 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 it's good. I mean, um, I think, I think it's good. I think it's a little milky for me and I don't know. Oh, I'm so drama about this. I don't know if that espresso goes well with that drink. Now, I don't know if that, I, I don't really know what, what espresso would go well. I just know that to me, maybe I'm crazy. Hold on. Um, that was weird. I'm sorry. I'm sniffing everything. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this is me being super critical, but when I think about the espresso I had at certain feelings and the espresso I have at Calvin Fletcher's, I feel like those go better with iced or with lattes. And I don't know what type of espresso they use. It's definitely different. It's a, it's maybe I'm crazy. It's fruitier, kind of like this is fruity and it's not the fig. It's, it's the, it's that espresso taste in this drink that is, um, it could be improved and I don't really like it that much. So, but I love this cold brew. This might be the best cold brew I've had in Indy. Yeah. If you, yeah, it's, it's definitely, you know, okay. You probably got to like coffee to like this. Like if you go to Starbucks and you're used to your Starbucks coffee and your Starbucks cold brew, you're not going to like, you, you possibly won't like that. Maybe you will. It's just not going to be what you're expecting. It's a, it's a bright summer cold brew. It's great. This is, this would be amazing to have on 4th of July for, for breakfast on the 4th of July. So I like it. I, I would be interested to try their other drinks. I, you know, thinking about their espresso, I bet their espresso is super good um, just by itself. Like, I bet, I bet, it, I've had some, okay, I've ordered espresso by itself a few times, you know? Like, you get espresso and then a little seltzer water with it. Amazing. There's this place in Oklahoma City I went to. I don't remember the name, but it was the best espresso I ever had. And I bet the espresso at Amberson's is superior. Like, I bet it's really good by itself. But... You know, but maybe, maybe something, maybe I just need more espresso in this. I don't know. Well, that's Amberson's. I really like it. I mean, yeah, it, you know, at first when you look at it online, you're like, if you're looking at prices, like compared to Calvin's, they're way more expensive, in my opinion, besides maybe their specialty drinks. Now, Calvin's specialty drinks, it doesn't matter where you go, specialty drinks are gonna be expensive. Like at certain feelings, they have the same price as Amberson. So, but certain feelings market it, markets it as, this is a cocktail specialty coffee shop, kind of. I think that, that that's kind of like their thing, you know? So, and I'm, and I'm okay with paying for that. I think um, Amberson's, when you just first look at the website, it's one of those places where it's like, oh dang, you got $5 coffee. 
But I you know that's just more common nowadays, I guess. It's probably just my mindset about it. Anyways, okay, I would probably go there, go to Amberson's for cold brew. Um, their grocery store was interesting. I do wonder how, um, I do wonder like the reasoning for having that right where Amelia's is at. I wonder if that's like any conflict. I don't know if it is. I, I Maybe it's not because, you know, you're downtown and there's places like that. And I also would wonder if, why would you open a grocery store? Um, I'm just going to say it. So you're serving coffee and you're, you're selling it in jars, which appears to be like, oh, this is more sustainable and all of that. But then I don't know if they say, I don't know if they say they're sustainable or whatever, but you're doing that. And then you're selling stuff in the grocery store that has plastic on it and, um, isn't the same as your cafe side. So yeah, but they're still cool. They're still cool. I like them. I mean, uh, but I do wonder like what, I wonder if they get a grant. I wonder if grocery stores get grants and stuff. And maybe that's like one way to, um, boost sales or keep yourself he like healthy, like, especially when you're trying to open a coffee shop in a town that has other coffee shops, what can give you an edge. And it's the, uh, wow, people are, people are yelling in the parking garage. Um, I, I wonder if they can use the grant to help sustain them. So yeah. Okay, everyone. I like Ambersons. You know, Emily and I will probably go there sometime this summer. Maybe we'll go there sooner. I don't know. Now that I've had it, I kind of want to have their pour over, but I don't know how it would be any different than what I can make at home. So, you know, cold brew takes time to, uh, to make. So I understand getting that somewhere else. Okay. I'm going to go now. I'll talk to you in just a little bit. Maybe I do have class tonight. So, um, if I do, it might just be like, what's up? Hello. Hello everyone. So it's the end of my work day and it's been pretty good so far. Um, it's, I got about an hour before class starts. So, um, that's, that's what's going on right now. I'm going to share with you a Costco story though. But before I do that, I will say those Amberson jars are pretty nice because you can use them for random stuff like sourdough. So I might keep them and use them or I could use them for cups as well, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay. Here's my story about Costco. So the other night I was at Costco, it was about uh, 30 minutes before closing and I'm, ch I'm checking out 30 minutes before closing. They have one lane open and you know, all of their checkout lanes are open. The one lane had about eight people in line. The human lane had eight people in line. And then the self-checkout had a couple open. So I go to the self-checkout and start checking out. And I really only have, I mean, I have five items. And I start by checking out my uh, LaCroix water. Okay, so I got little LaCroix cans. And uh, the right when I scan it, it freaks out and says, don't put it, don't scan heavy items. And I, okay. So I put it beside the scanner, like you're supposed to, you know, when you put, when you do self checkout, you put it, you you scan it, then you put it down. And then it says, don't put it down on the scale. So I'm like, what in the world? So what am I just, I just put it back in my cart. And, um, so that's one thing it's, even though the, the scanner or the section beside the scanner where you put your groceries is, you know, two or three times as big as a normal self checkout area, you can't put heavy stuff on it or bulky items. So I can't do anything. I have to wait on the staff member to come and help me. And she's coming because I scanned a bulky item, the little quarry pack. Okay. And it's not, it wasn't that heavy. It's not even that big. It's, it's the skinny cans of LaCroix. It's not like a giant pallet. It's, you know, it's not huge. You know, it would fit on the scale. So she comes up and she's like, sir, uh, she tells me this, sir, you're not supposed to scan bulky things. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. And so she starts scanning the items in my cart. She scans all of them, even the ones that are not bulky. And then she rescans my LaCroix and I'm like, oh, sorry. I actually already scanned that. And she gave me like a death stare and was like, sir, you're not supposed to scan bulky items. And I'm just thinking this entire time, like, okay, one, you don't have to, you don't need to tell me that. That's the whole reason that you're here. Like I can't scan anything else. You know what I mean? Like you are here 
because I scanned a bulky item, you obviously I scanned something in this cart. So yeah, she was rude to me. And I'm, and I'm also just thinking, okay, you have an area beside the scanner to put your groceries, okay? And it's three times as big as any self scanner at any grocery store. All you're at Costco, all of your items are bulky. Like not all, besides like clothes and maybe some food. Your the concept, the concept of Costco and Sam's Club um, is bulk items, larger items. So that would mean a majority of the items in the store can't be scanned by me at a self checkout. So it's not self checkout. It's just a uh, I don't know what it's just a checkout that requires me. It's a checkout with one staff member trying to scan six people at one time. So that happened. And then another time I went, I, went, I did self checkout and a lady came up to me and I was just like doing my thing and she tried to scan me to go faster um, because it was a Saturday. So she scans everything in my cart and then the assistant, she was super nice about it too. She was just like, here, let me help you. And so she scans everything. And then the manager came up to her, the assistant manager, came up to her and was like, hey, Ashley, I don't know her name, but hey, Ashley, do not scan his items. He can do that himself if they're not bulky or something like that. He was like, do not scan his items, whatever, whatever. So drama, drama alert. Okay, well, that's everything. If you're still watching this, comment down below. Uh, comment down below. Well, you can tell me, do you, do you like Costco? Do you like uh, Sam's Club? Let me know down below. If so, what's your favorite thing to get there? Um, also, you can comment down below limes or tell me your favorite thing to get at uh, Costco or Sam's Club. I really like getting their, you know, their meat there. I think it's good, so. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hope you all have a good, a good uh, Thursday and a good Friday tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. If no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. I'm gonna go to class. I've gotta get ready for class. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. Bye.